hi guys welcome back to my safe space kitchen so today i'm gonna be making this quick egg stew egg stew is very popular in ghana west africa it is normally paired with rice yams plantains um sometimes gari whatever you want to pair it with it is great with it and so that's what we're making today so if you want to learn how to make this quick egg stew stay tuned So here I have my um, tomatoes de-seeded and nicely chopped. You can use diced tomatoes, you know, the canned diced tomatoes or tomato sauce is a preference thing. I like my eggs used to be chunky, so I use diced fresh tomatoes. So I also have my eggs. Um, I also have my um, peppers. These are just sweet peppers, some green pepper, some yellow, and some red pepper. In this bowl, I have my ginger, my garlic, my onions, and one large habanero pepper. Um, I also have my um, sliced onions that we will be frying with my salted pollock. So pollock is like um, like American Kobe. That's what I call it, right? Because it's salty. It has a little bit of smell to it. And you can get it at your regular store. So if you don't have Kobe or um, Super Cool or whatever you use, that is a good substitute. Um, it's not too strong, so that's why I use it. And I also have some shrimp seasoning and my geisha. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add some basil to my eggs and a little bit of salt and I'm going to whisk this together and set it aside. So in my pot, I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil. Um, I ran out of oil, so I went ahead and got a little bit more. You can use whatever oil you want. Once my oil heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my onions and my pollock. So you treat your pollock like you would treat any other salted fish, right? Um, the only difference is pollock, um, the smell is not as intense as your Kobe, but it will give your food a great flavor, and you know it's great for this type of stew. So once my onions brown like so, I go ahead and add my blender stuff. So that's the onion onion, the garlic, the ginger, and the habanero peppers. I go ahead and I pour that in there. I give my blender a little bit of a rinse and then I, um, I go ahead and I pour that in here as well and I continue to let this simmer on low heat. You don't want your food to burn so just cook everything in low heat and just let it simmer until a lot of the water has evaporated. So once my sauce has simmered down like so and a lot of the water has evaporated, I'm going to go ahead and add my fresh tomatoes and continue to let this cook until um, my tomatoes become soft. Um, but in the meantime, while it's cooking, pay attention to it. Um, give it a quick stir here and there to avoid um, your, your pot from burning. I mean your stew from burning, right? So yeah, just pay attention to it and give it you know, a quick stir here and there from time to time. So tomato does produce a lot of water so you want to give it time to cook completely okay um so here I'm literally just um, crushing my tomatoes um, that's why you know some people like you know using sauce because I tend to crush mine but I still get that chunky feel in it right so that's what I'm doing there so once my tomato has cooked up really well like so as you can see a lot of the water has evaporated here as well I'm gonna go ahead and add my geisha um, to my sauce um, I know geisha is not very popular in you know American stores and so this is something that we get from the African market but you can find this at the Asian markets too so you know if you're not Ghanaian and you're looking to make this stew you know get you some kind of fish in tomato sauce and that should work you don't necessarily need this you can also use like um, corned beef to make your um, fish stew as well so that works also so I go ahead and I um, kind of just give it a little um, stare and I kind of you know break the fish apart a little bit and just continue to let it cook you guys make sure that you're stirring your stew from time to time if not it's going to burn and 
you don't want no burnt food so once it's simmered down for a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my spices I'm gonna go ahead and add my curry powder this is homemade and it is great I'm also gonna add my homemade all-purpose seasoning so my homemade all-purpose seasoning has like nutmeg, cloves, saline, and so when I use it, I don't do a whole lot of you know extra spices. So here I'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp seasoning as well. Give that a quick stir and make sure it is nicely well incorporated in there. And once I, I feel like it's nicely mixed in there, I'm gonna go ahead and taste this to make sure that my spices are well balanced in my sauce, okay? So that's what I did there. And once I feel like my, my spices are well balanced, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and um, pour my eggs on here like so right um, once I pour my egg in there I'm gonna go ahead and with all the peppers that I chopped up we're gonna go ahead and throw that on here as well so this is gonna cook at my lowest heat until my eggs become solid right until my eggs are fully cooked and you give it about five to ten minutes it should be done at your lowest heat not ten minutes that's exaggerating about five minutes it should be done and look at how look at that it's like big chunks and so from here you're gonna mix it the way that you want some people like to mix it in and get it to be really small you know like break it all apart but I don't like that I like the chunky feel to my stew and so yeah one thing that I also want to say is you can add a lot of eggs you know if you want more eggs but I like more sauce when I make my eggs too, so I definitely um, don't do too much with the eggs. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my salt now. You guys know how I feel about salt. Um, I always wait to the very last minute to add my salt because once you add your seasonings and your spices and all that good stuff, um, sometimes you don't need it. And you notice I put a little bit of salt in my eggs at the beginning, so I did not wanna overdo it. That is why I waited to the very last minute to add my salt. And I went ahead and tasted it and it is perfect. So I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit and it is done, you guys. This is how I like my eggs to. Like this is the texture that I like my eggs to. This stuff smells so good. And don't judge me. Yes, I eat with my hands. When it's good, I eat with my hands. You better believe it, yes. <laughs> that's the african in me but anyways this is it you guys we are done this is it it's that simple again add more eggs if you want i know that my sauce doesn't look too eggy and um a lot of people don't prefer it that way but this is how i like it because i like to taste the sauce and the eggs and when you overdo it with the egg then it becomes too eggy and i don't like that so yeah this is it you guys it is done and as my song would say, Hey Janine, are you ready? Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. Like I was saying, egg stew is very versatile. You can have it with plantains. You can have it with yams. You can have it with rice. You can have it with gari. I've seen people pair it with bread and it is perfect. So, you know, the, the sides are endless and you can um, choose whatever side you want with it. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching this video I really appreciate your time today if this is your first time coming across my page this is my safe space kitchen I make cooking videos and I try to make it as fun as possible please hit that subscribe button and help me grow my channel I am new on here and I'm working really hard to bring a lot of content to you I promise if you hit that subscribe button you would not regret it to my old subscribers thank you all so much I really appreciate your time until next time I'll see you in my next video